Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. And welcome to another edition of Issues in Education. Mondays during the Noon Report, we spotlight the weighty issues impacting our public schools with the good Dr. Ralph Kerr at the Teaching and Learning Institute. Ralph, a whole lot to get to this week. We'll try to cover as much as we can, but it has been a busy week, and we'll jump right in with this vaccine mandate for school teachers in New York City. That is now in effect. If they haven't been vaccinated, they are suspended without pay. Do you think such an edict will eventually take root statewide in New York? No, I don't think so. Uh, It was interesting to kind of watch it in New York City evolve, but uh, I just don't think this is going to happen statewide. I think there's enough opposition to it that ultimately uh, it, it just can't happen, I don't believe. Yeah, we talked about teacher vaccinations and as well student vaccinations and whether or not this would be a reality. In California, it is. Governor Newsom has said that uh, anyone 12 and up will not be allowed in-person learning unless they've been vaccinated. Once those vaccines become available, that could be as soon as November, December. So that's the reality in California, Ralph. What's your reaction to that? Well, Well, I'm appalled that that's what's happening, really. Last week, there were some reports that saying that the pandemic was going down, the number of cases. And I think that's what's going to happen. And and to mandate something that's not even available uh, for a while, I I think, is just carrying it way too far. I hope, uh, even though generally what happens in California does come here, Mm -hmm. I hope that won't be the case in New York and Pennsylvania. Well, we read a story last week about the enrollment drop at SUNY schools, and it's quite substantial. Um, This is the SUNY system starts deregistering students who are not vaccinated. Does one have to do with the other here, Ralph? I don't think it does. Uh, When I looked into this, I found that uh, the deregistering of the students because they're not vaccinated really has had very little impact on their uh, reduction in enrollment. For instance, at uh, Brockport, they're claiming that there are only four students that are unvaccinated. And uh, SUNY Geneseo is claiming they have 100% of the students vaccinated and a couple of the other schools have really low numbers as well. So I I think it's another way to try to get everybody vaccinated. But I don't think you can say that's resulting in less enrollment in SUNY schools. Gotcha. Let's head to Pennsylvania next, Ralph. And this uh, legislation here would kind of give parents a front row seat into what's being taught at school, uh, an effort to make schools post online. This is for public schools. All their course curriculum, everything that's being taught in school must be made available online. Do you support such a measure, Ralph? And uh, what do you think is driving this? Well, let me take the last question first. What's driving it is that parents are really getting involved in their schools, which I'm thrilled about. They're seeing things in the curriculum and in textbooks. And they're really taking it to the school boards, which is exactly what should be done. I am a little bit hesitant in terms of going too far, though, on what they are posting online. I have no problem with posting curriculum guides or the textbooks that are used. But I think if they get into requiring teachers to post their lesson plans, they may end up with some legal issues. And I think that might be going a little bit too far. Yeah, good point. And then finally, this the sub shortage. We're not talking about the subs at Subway here. Uh, this is the substitute team teacher shortage, Ralph, it's pretty pronounced in both New York and Pennsylvania. How bad is it out there? Well, it's really, really bad. In fact, both states are beginning to look at uh, lessening up the requirements. The shortage is just dynamic at this point. Certainly anybody that's retired or has a teaching certificate is interested in getting back into education. I would encourage them to contact their district because there are openings everywhere. Yeah, not just the school buses. uh, It's the the (laughs) substitute teachers as well. They need a lot of help. Well, man, we've been a lot of places in just the past five (laughs) minutes, Ralph. Solving the world's problems in five minutes or less. Uh, Dr. Ralph Kerr, uh, you have so much information on your 
your website too about public education and how Christians can get involved in their public schools. If folks want to do that, where can they go? They can just simply go to whyrun.org, whyrun.org. 